Hey guys, it's Jeremiah over at Right On University again. Today, we're going to talk about wind. Uh, wind is a, a big variable when you're out there shooting. Uh, there's a couple little secrets using your scope to see what the wind's doing downrange. Let's go to the whiteboard again and take a look. All right, guys, we're back at the whiteboard, and we're going to teach you a little secret. If you don't have a, a meter that reads the wind for you, or flags downrange, maybe if it's in a desert, there isn't even grass to look at to see how it's moving. There is another option, and your scope's a powerful tool. You guys have probably seen Mirage out there uh, on a hot day, even on a cold day at distance, you're gonna see that Mirage. It's gonna show up as, as waves one way or another, okay? That's that heat Mirage. We can use that with our parallax adjustment on our right on scopes to see what the wind is doing, and we can even see uh, what the uh, wind is doing at different yardages. Let me show you how. I'm going to draw a little note here. 0 to 3. We'll say 5 to 7. I'm going to say 10. And then I'm going to say 12 plus. Okay? These are winds. And what we're going to do is that parallax focuses uh, what your target is and your reticle at all different distances. So Focus it on your target, and you'll be able to see what the Mirage is doing at your target. Focus it halfway between the target and you. You'll be able to see what the wind is doing halfway. This is what it's going to look like. Roughly 0 to 3 mile an hour wind. It's kind of a straight up. It's not even very swiggly. Just kind of straight lines, okay, like a 12 o'clock. A 5 to 7 mile an hour wind, okay, it's going to kind of come in a little bit at a 1 o'clock kind of range, okay. You get near 10, it's flat, okay, but it's still wavy. And then when we get 12 or plus, we start to see that mirage straightening out. So this gives us a way to see what the wind's doing where we are, between us and the target, at the target, if you don't have another tool to do it. Again, you adjust your parallax so that you're focusing on different points between you and the target, and you'll see this mirage in the air, and you can use it uh, to call wind. So really powerful tool if you don't have the fancy tools this works pretty good guys. Alright guys thanks for doing our wind lesson here. Remember if you don't have a Kestrel a meter of some sorts to read wind you can use this method adjusting your parallax to see what the winds doing where you are between you and the target at the target. It's a really powerful tool if you don't have a, a fancy meter to use that. Guys go out Try this method out, come back to us and tell, you what, tell us what you think.